guys today i am here to give you one mnemonic about the tributaries which are draining into the internal jugular vein but before that we should know something about the internal jugular vein what is it here you can see the internal jugular vein the two internal jugular vein how it is formed and where it ends we have to know that at first it is continuation of the sigmoid sinus and the inferior petrosal sinus which means the inferior petrosal sinus and the sigmoid sinus joins to form the internal jugular vein it has a superior bulb and an inferior bulb finally it becomes continuous as the brachiocephalic vein by joining the subclavian which means the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein joins to form the brachiocephalic vein. Now let us learn about the tributaries of the internal jugular vein. But before that, I want to say one more thing to you that is from where the internal jugular vein is draining the blood. The internal jugular vein is present in the carotid sheath along with the common carotid artery and the vagus nerve so it must be draining the blood from the brain and the neck and also it drains the blood from the face also here are the mnemonics i have written in my book here you can see that is the tributaries of the internal jugular you know ipl ipl indian premier leg MSc which is a degree master of science now IPL MSc by remembering this mnemonics you can easily remember the tributaries which are draining into the internal jugular vein so first what is I I for inferior petrosal sinus you can see here but still I am saying you so I for inferior petrosal sinus P for pharyngeal veins L for lingual vein, M for middle thyroid vein, S for superior thyroid vein, and C for common facial vein. So this, this is the mnemonic. Very simple. Thank you.